guys welcome back to my channel how are you so today i'm doing the slimming world um recipes and i'm doing the roasted cauliflower cheese and it does say it's three sins per serving which confuses me a little bit because all the ingredients are free and i'm assuming the reason they said it's sinned is to um, count for the cheese if you're not using it as part of your healthy extra a so i classed it as free um, for that reason because I honestly could not see any reason um, I did count there is a one level tablespoon of Dijon mustard so I did count that as a sin um, but the rest of the ingredients I really couldn't see where they are um, so this is how I made it right okay so first of all I've got one cauliflower which I've just separated with florets on it uh, I'm just going to coat it with some garlic fry light and then pop it in the oven and bake it at 180 degrees for 30, 35 minutes until it's brown and just going tender. And then once that's done, I can then add in my cherry tomatoes. So let's get this in the oven cooking and then we can do the next stage. Right, so while my um, tomatoes are now cooking with the cauliflower, I'm gonna make the topping. And I use this topping for my lasagnas, actually. So I've got 250 grams of cork in there. And I'm just gonna to add to it a level teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So I get it all in there. Perfect. And then one egg. and then half of my cheese so 75 grams of cheese and i always grate mine on the lowest grate as you know so i'm gonna put half of that in there and then mix it all together this makes a brilliant topping for your lasagna as well which is perfect obviously make sure you use your healthy extra a for the uh, cheese right so i need to now get my uh, cauliflower and tomatoes out of the oven so i'm going to grab those now so it's out now and what i do is i know they've split a little bit of the cherry tomatoes but i just tend to prick them because you can guarantee if you don't when you come to eat it, it squirts all over you like that does <laughs> also squirts all over the floor there's nothing worse if you've got a nice clean top on and you end up with squirt of tomato all over you. Look, it's perfect. It's just cutting through nice. Still keeping a bit firm, but beautiful. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to pop over my topping now. Make sure I cover it all. It's quite thick. So you will need to use the back of your spoon. top it with the rest of the cheese and because you've got the fine grate it um covers it better i think you get more even coverage okay da, da, da. and then i'm just going to add some pepper plenty of pepper for us Perfect. And I'm going to pop that back in the oven for two to three minutes for that cheese to melt and it could go golden brown. Okay. Right, guys, there it is. And look at how amazing it looks. And if you compare it to the magazine, it's pretty good. So I'm going to get on and dish this up now and can't wait to eat it. Okay. So it's really quick, it's really simple, and it's a nice addition to any meal. Um, as I said before, that sauce I use all the time in my lasagnas and it's brilliant. For this dish though, I'm not quite sure if it was enough um, for it to be a really cheesy cauliflower cheese, if it makes sense. Um, I think if I made it myself, and this is what I do do myself, 
if that makes sense. I would use the cork, I would use cheese, I would use eggs and beat it in. But with the cheese, what I'd probably do for hubby and I, I'd use all my cheese allowance for the day. So you're talking 60 grams of cheese each, that's 120 grams as opposed to 75 grams that's here. So I'd make it a lot more cheesier than it was. Um, and the Dijon mustard, obviously, that just adds flat flavour to it. Um, and you're never going to scare me with some Dijon mustard at all. So overall, it was an okay um, accompaniment to a meal. I just would have made it cheesier um, and made sure that was my healthy extra A. Um, so, yeah, give it a go. We just see what you think. Try it with broccoli as well. Um, it works really well. Sometimes I've not been able to get cauliflower, or it's been so expensive for the tiniest cauliflower. So I've actually bought broccoli and done with broccoli. Not with the tomatoes, just the broccoli on its own. Um, and I do love cherry tomatoes in anything that's baked, so it's a win-win for us. So yeah, so I will do it again. But as I said, I probably will add more cheese and use my whole day's allowance of cheese in it. So yeah, it is a thumbs up for me. Okay guys, if you like that, don't forget, you need to subscribe notifications and give me a thumbs up as well and share my channel guys i need to grow because the more people that see my recipes the more people i can help all right i'll see you in my next video you take care bye bye